hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video i'm going to talk about ios 16.1 beta 5 update on my iphone 10r so as you can see this is an iphone 10r and yesterday night i've received ios 16.1 beta 5 on this device as you can see from the screenshot clearly it came in about 321.1 mb on my iphone 10r also i have received the same update on iphone 12 it came in about 400 mb so if you're having any device so the update size would be between 350 to 600 mb so in this video let's talk about what's new and what are the bugs that got fixed with this new beta update and when finally we can expect ios 16.1 rc update and then the following week we can expect ios 16.1 public release so make sure to watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings general if i go to the about section and click on the ios version so as you can see the new build number is 20b5072b so the letter b in the end it definitely means that that we are getting more close to the public release so probably next week we would get to see the ios 16.1 release candidate and then the following week we can expect ios 16.1 public release now with this update, I have heard that the newer iPhones like iPhone 13 Pro Max or iPhone uh, 14, they have a modem firmware update. But unfortunately with this iPhone 10R, I don't have a modem firmware update. So if I show you, as you can see, the modem firmware version is 5.01.01. And I have taken a screenshot uh, before updating. As you can see from the screenshot, it was 5.01.01 as well. Also, I have checked on my iPhone 12. There is no modem firmware for iPhone 12 as well. So for both the iPhone 12 and iPhone 10R, I did not have a modem firmware. But if you are having any other iPhone, please do check. You might have a modem firmware update. So now many of you were asking me how to get this update. I tell you this on every video if you are receiving and beta updates that means if you go to vpn and device management you have a profile installed which is ios 16 beta software profile unless you have this profile installed on your iphone you won't be able to receive any beta updates for that matter now what's new with this update uh, i actually gone through the release notes because i couldn't find any new features or any new changes so in the beta 5 release notes for at least iPhone 10R, I mean, there are no new things, but here and there, there is some wording changes. But if you go to the release notes, as you can see from developer.apple.com, it tells you what are the issues that has been fixed. So let's look at this one by one. As you can see there, if you want to connect a matter accessories for that matter, you know, those have been fixed. And, you know, if you're having trouble, you know, connecting to a Wi-Fi network, you know, the uh, solutions have been given. So you can go through that and known issues, the memory allocation and things like that are there. And also one more thing I wanted to highlight because many of you might not have a, you know, developer beta profile installed and they are, you know, using the public beta profile. Now, if you're using a public beta profile at the time of recording this video and at the time when you're seeing this video, you might have gotten the update. But you no, know, when Apple releases a new beta software, they give it to the developers first and then they release it for public. So that's the thing. So first they release it to the developers and then after a few hours, they release it for public. If I talk about the battery life, I don't use this phone as my primary phone. So whenever I do a battery and follow up and performance review, I include iPhone 12 because that is the phone I use day to day basis. And if I talk about still the battery health and charging settings, as you can see, the battery health hasn't dropped after updating to iOS 16.1 beta 5. Now, if you talk about the performance, performance in general is okay. I noticed some lag here and there, but that is usual with iPhone 10R at this point, I would say. And considering you are using a beta software, you can pretty much expect that. Many of you also asked me to run Geekbench 5. So as you can see, the Geekbench 5 scores for iPhone 10R are pretty low with this update. The single core score came in about 1106 and the multi-core score came in about 2032. If I uh, talk about the history and uh, if I go back, as you can see for iPhone 
10R, the iOS 16.1 beta 4 update, you know, the scores were little better. But you know, I've just updated, you know, last night. So probably a lot of things are going in the background. So that's why the scores are pretty low. I would again talk about the battery life and performance would give you the final verdict, whether you should install or not, maybe during the weekend. So you can actually wait for the follow up review. So now let's talk about when we can expect iOS 16.1 public release. So at the time of recording this video, uh, today is 12th of October. So I think so that the next week we might get to see the iOS 16.1 release candidate and the following week that means the 26th of October we might get to see iOS 16.1 public release so that is the expected date uh, so we can actually have iOS 16.1 towards the end of October so with the help of the video I just wanted to let you know that we have received iOS 16.1 beta 5 update now if you have a beta profile installed then definitely you are using iOS 16.1 beta series of softwares then definitely do update to the latest and greatest one not only it you know gives you some new features it also always contains some security fixes here and there so it is always good to install the latest update but if you're on stable series of update i yesterday posted a video on ios 16.0.3 at this point i would say stay on ios 16.0.3 you know if you are having a newer iphone you are not missing out on much of the features but definitely you can expect ios 16.1 towards the end of the month so that's it for this video if you have enjoyed this video give this video a like and also if you have enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel because this gives me a lot of motivation to make more such kind of videos so with that being said i will see you on my next video Bye-bye.